days. We're deeply sorry for the impact that we've caused to customers, to travelers, to anyone affected by this, including our uh, companies. So um, we know what the issue is. Uh, we're resolving and have resolved the issue now. It's recovering uh, systems that are out there. And you were just hearing from the CEO of CrowdStrike apologizing after a software update caused a major tech outage across the world affecting airlines, hospitals, banks, 911 systems, and government services. To put it simply, it's considered one of the biggest IT outages in history. Thanks so much for joining us for your Friday evening. I'm Faith Jesse. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. That outage happened overnight, but we are still feeling the impacts this evening. We have team coverage for you explaining what went wrong and what's being done now to get things back up and running to normal. Let's go first to our Bobeth Yates to explain how this happened in Bobeth. A lot of people didn't even know what CrowdStrike was until this morning, but we are seeing now just how many businesses, facilities and government agencies really rely on it. That's exactly right, Jennifer. Pretty much most Windows computers were impacted by this issue. Not Macs and not Linux, but CrowdStrike officials say they are working on a fix. Still many in the cyber industry are just surprised. The system uh, was sent an update and that update had a, a software bug in it and caused a uh, an issue with the Microsoft operating system. CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz explained how a glitch in its software caused a global outage stretching across a wide range of industries. And Emory University information systems professor Ron Chalapa says the impacts are far reaching. If your stock market is using this, that goes down. That affects millions of people. If airlines are using this for the reservation and scheduling, that goes down. So that affects millions of people. So the impact of all these things is on a wide variety of uh, folks in the market. The software update left computers using Microsoft software with the blue screen of death and unable to boot up. So what is CrowdStrike and how could this happen? You have these different computers that employees use. Now employees, you know, they're subject to phishing attacks, et cetera, or install this software and so on, and they might try to do some of those things. Something like CrowdStrike, if they have a sensor on it, it ensures that you are not doing anything that the IT security doesn't allow. And therefore, you are able to kind of monitor and make sure nothing abnormal is installed. Chalapa says at least 30,000 major companies use the antivirus software, and many of them spent portions of Friday trying to get their systems back online, most reverting to a previous version of the software. And while CrowdStrike officials say they are also working with individual companies on a more permanent fix, many in the cyber industry wonder how such a massive error could take place. Normally, when a software update is done, the firm does you know, alphas and betas and multiple versions of testing before it is actually pushed out. So it's rather surprising that a cybersecurity firm that is so important today that this would have happened. Now, since learning about the problem, CrowdStrike again has said they have this deployed a patch to help with the systems. They are also advising people to go around the problem by just starting their computer in safe mode. Again, a more permanent solution is in the works. Live in Midtown, Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News.